All right, guys. New Year's Eve. Ball's about to drop. We got less than a minute left. You guys ready for this? Let's go. Denisian. Denisian, thank you so much for the sub. Oh, you got gifted by Valero. Another gifted sub from Valero RVA and the Packs are live. Let's get it, chat. If you're on YouTube, make sure to check out fullgripcodes.com. You can get instant delivery Cosmic Eclipse codes. Let's get the party started. Thank you guys so much for being here, for watching. If you're on YouTube, make sure to check me out on Twitch. And we broke it again. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, chat. We did it. Fantastic. Oh, baby. I didn't expect it to be like this. I know we're all excited here, but uh, you might need to... Might, I need to re-roll PTCGO. Uh, I'm about to. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Just got that. We're going to try that. Uh, maybe uh, maybe reboot. You guys take a look at my beautiful stickers <laughs> while I log back in. Oh, we broke it, guys. Too many of us at the, si at the same time. Always restart before the fo first opening. I didn't know. <sighs> All right, we're going to try it again. So much excitement. It's like we were there at Area 51. We were ready to go, and we just got told to leave. Here we go. And our first Cosmic Eclipse booster pack is <laughs> opening now. Fantastic. Here we go, chat. Let's go. Thank you guys all so much for being here, for supporting the channel, for supporting Full Grip Games in the shop. I'm really stoked about the set. Can't wait to see what we pull in 323 digital booster packs of Cosmic Eclipse. Thanks so much, Rodney S. for the Tier 1 sub. Welcome, welcome. If you're sub to the channel, you get access to the sub-only Discord as well. Uh, so make sure to link up your Discord and your Twitch. The instructions should be... Right there, yeah, Natalie posted it. Fantastic. We got a Venusaur and Snivy Tag Team GX. This card can take a dump. It's got Forest Dump. I'm so excited that it translated to Forest Dump in English. That's amazing. Oh, Forest Dump, everybody. Forest Dump. One of the most unfortunate Pokemon attack names, but also one of the most fortunate Pokemon attack names which is just absolutely amazing. So Zach Pro out here with the gift and sub. Thank you so much, Zach, for all the support that you give to the channel. And welcome Loon Luke with that gifted sub. Look at Waylord's mouth right here. You just like, you like that? Ooh. Waylord showing off his teeth. Like, yeah. We also got another sub. Thank you so much, ja Jeff Taco. Jafet Taco, Jaffe Taco. Thank you so much, Taco5, for that Twitch Prime sub. That's what's up. Welcome to the club. Let's open some more. If you guys are looking for packs yourself, make sure to check out fullgripcodes.com. You can get them instantly delivered. And then you ain't even got to wait. You don't have to wait for me or Sean to email them to you. Sean is actually en route to the Richmond, Virginia Regional Championships right now, where Full Grip is going to be vending. So if you're going to be at Richmond, make sure to say, hey, to the guys working the booth, we're all going to be there. Got ourselves a Shadow Box Mimikyu. <laughs> Valero, that's pretty good. Valero says, life is like a box of Snivies. Forest dump. Yes, agreed. Yo, look at this. Our first character full art, Steelix. And Jasmine, that is cool. It's Jasmine, right? Jasmine? Pretty sure Jasmine. Very nice. Jasmine looks very nervous in this. Look at her just like... Also, similar to the Whale Lord. Yeah. Definitely, uh, you know. What's up with the nervous face? She looks like, you know, extremely nervous. Not excited, just nervous. I don't know. Jasmine having a tough time there. And we've got the Vileplume GX. I love this artwork on the Vileplume GX. Absolutely gorgeous. You got Erica in the background. Beautiful card. The rainbow rare of that card is absolutely gorgeous as well. I don't know if you guys have seen the rainbow rares from this set. They are so cool. Yo, Blastoise and Piplup and Clay. 
Clay, is that Clay? Clay Aiken? Is that is that Clay? Pretty sure that's Clay and Extra Drill. I don't know. Blastoise and Piplup, though. Look at that artwork there. Absolutely gas. So beautiful. Really hoping to get some tag team full art supporters as well in these 200, 320 packs. Uh, the tag team full art supporters look so cool. Uh, would really be stoked to get some Cynthia and Caitlin's. Some Mallow and Lana's. We got ourselves a Blacephalon. That's sick. And the Rainbow Rares in real life. If you guys haven't seen the Rainbow Rares from this set, they look beautiful. They're not just like the silvery, you know, white kind of Rainbow Rare. Like they actually have rainbow colors on them. There's like purple and red and green. It's really neat looking. Definitely suggest scoping those out if you have the opportunity. And yeah, chat, let me know. If you guys are cracking packs right now, let me know what kind of stuff you guys rip out of your PTCGO packs. Share the love. We got a Guzzlord. Absolute gas. Yeah, and I don't know what's up with Limitless. I did uh, try to, you know, try to use their proxy system, but what they do is a lot of work. I mean, it's a ton, a ton, a ton of work. So major respect to those guys over at Limitless for getting the proxy stuff up for players to use as resources when building their decks. Silvalli GX. Stoked about that with Gladian in the background. Very cool. And Tag Call and Lily's Full Force. Busted pack. Excellent. Pedro is giving us some news that the proxies are already up in English in Limitless TCG. Thank you so much, Pedro, for the news. I had checked a few days ago and they weren't up. So I'm really stoked to hear that those are up. Limitless TCG, amazing resource for competitive players. They've got stats, they've got proxies. I mean, they really do so much for the community for so little thanks. So thank you guys so much, everybody who works at Limitless. We got the Full Art Stoutland here. Arf Arf Bark. I don't know if I can get over that ability name, Arf Arf Bark. Like, why isn't it just Bark or Arf Arf? Why is it Arf Arf Bark? Seems a little redundant, but that's eh, chill, you know. So my major chase cards in this set, I want the alternative art Mega Low Punny and Jigglypuff. That, ooh, and that Weavile. I mean, I definitely had to hit that Weavile. So really stoked about this. Beautiful looking art for Weavile. Excellent. I would really like to pull the alternative art for Mega Low Punny and Jigglypuff. That card is absolutely beautiful. I mean, the artwork is stunning. The characters look great. The card is insanely busted. It's one of the best cards in the set. Also, some secret rare uh, trainers would be really cool as well. I mean, secret rare power plants. We got a Solgaleo and Lunala GX. That's awesome. I really wanted this card, at least as a one of for the collection, in case we decide to toss it into, uh, you know, a psychic deck at some point. Larvestas are always good as well, in case the Volcarona ends up being good. There's not really any other Larvestas, I don't think, in standard format. So that is big. <laughs> Yo, Redneck Tater Tot, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You feel me? You know, I can't just be out here belching on camera. So sometimes you got to, you know, got to, <gasps> yeah, just suck that one down. Forget about it. There we go. What is this Arursering doing? Is he trying to, like, smell his armpit? I'm not exactly sure. Beazle Bozo with 110 bits says, Chad, I just pulled an alt art Megalopunny. There you go. That's what's up. Thanks so much, Beazle Bozo. And uh, congrats. Yeah, but what is... Is he smelling his pits? I think that this guy is smelling his pits. That's what he's, like, he's doing. Just making sure that they don't stink too much. That or he's summoning a Kamehameha wave. Those are my two guesses. There's either one smelling pits, two Kamehameha wave. He's about to, you know, bah. 
Uh, we have Kyle with 100 bits. Thanks so much, Kyle, with those 100 bits. And Excella Sun <laughs> subbed. Uh, it says, Andrew Mahone is my friend. Thank you so much, Excella Sun. Yes. I have all your guys' friends. Thank you so much, Excella Sun. You're all my friends, too. We got Empoleon and Wishy Washy, the uh, art with Lana there. Awesome. Another swell, another tag call. Sick rips. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Yeah, maybe the Ursa Ring is doing yoga. It is another strong possibility. That's pretty cool. We got. I love the Ursa Ring emote that we have here on Tricky Gym. That's definitely one of my favorites. And with the busted sticker packs that we are giving away, I definitely got my mind on stickers. I want to create some stickers out of our emotes that we have here on the channel. And we got a lot of really cool e uh, you know, emotes. Maury did an incredible job with those. That is always on my on my mind too. You know, which emotes would make the best stickers from our emote collection. We got an Alolan Persian GX. Smug Face is a super good ability. This card definitely has potential. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's tag team Pokemon and Ultra Beast, and by your opponent's Pokemon that have any special energy, just in case we had, like, missed anything. Wow. Smooshy says out of 11 packs, they got a Rainbow Rare Reshiram. That's sick. That card also looks really dope. Yo. Natalie and I had a drawing contest the other day at dinner. You guys haven't seen on uh, on Twitter, Natalie and I do these drawing contests when we're out to eat sometimes. Anywhere that's got paper, where we randomly generate a Pokemon's name, and then we try to like draw it the best as we can from memory. And I drew Passimian standing up. And then everybody was making fun of me for drawing Passimian standing up. Yo, Passimian stands up sometimes. Like, look at these Passimian down here. They're standing up. Like, I understand that Passimian is a lemur, okay? And most of the time, lemurs, you know, are crawled over. But Passimian can stand up, okay? Lemurs can stand on their hind legs. That happens sometimes. <laughs> Natalie is claiming that she told me it was a lemur, and I told her, no, it's not. Our first Reshiram. Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful tag team GX. First Reshiram going in the books chat. There we go. Absolutely insane. That is probably, you know, the GX Pokemon that we need the most of today. So that's busted. We're probably going to need to pull at least like four of those in order to build the deck or three. So that's great. I'm uh, stoked about that. We will definitely be building our own Reshi Rom deck on the stream today. Which, oh, there's that that toothy looking Waylord. The Reshi Rom deck is good. I think that, you know, it's got potential. Still trying to figure out the best ways to build it for sure. It is um, a little bit concerning. I'm a little bit worried about maybe the Malamar matchup and also the Guardi Sylveon matchup since you are weak to. Fairy, which is tough, and then you don't have a lot of GX, non-GX options to knock out the things that a Malamar deck is going to be throwing your way. But it can compete with other tag team decks for sure. The Welder Engine is really good. I think it makes pretty good use of the Welder Engine. And then I was talking to Natalie. There we go. Marshadow. Toss that thing into a Malamar deck if you want to. I was talking to Natalie. Only two weeks until Pokemon Sword and Shield comes out. Raise your hand in the chat if you are excited for Sword and Shield. I'm assuming that's going to be all hands raised. Let's go. Two weeks. It's happening so quick. It'll be here before you know it. And I absolutely cannot wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think the characters from the new... Game look absolutely phenomenal. You know, the characters that we've seen released so far. Uh, the character artwork looks great. I think all of the Gigantamax Pokemon look really cool as well. 
Uh, Gigantamaxing is just a really cool mechanic. I'm stoked about that. I can't wait to see how the Pokemon trading card game incorporates these new effects into the Pokemon trading card game. We got ourselves our second Blacephalon. It's awesome. We really should only need about two of those, so that's great. That's awesome, Tanish. I'm glad to hear you got a Switch, and you're going to be able to play the new Pokemon game with us. Lost Marching Whimsicots. Oh, yeah. Check that thing out. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that uh, Lost March gets a whole lot more playable with the new Cottony and Whimsicott Lost Marchers. I just don't think it, it gets there. This is my first Great Catcher. We are like so far in, but we finally got our first Great Catcher. That's dope. I'm really excited about that. And no, Connor, I have not heard about that stuff yet. That's cool. For sure. More, more search is always better. Our second great catcher, so that's good. We're going to need a play set of these guys. And we should be able to pull plenty. Really, I'm pulling not just for me, but I'm trying to pull for Natalie too. So if we could like double up on everything that I need, that'd be great. Because that way I can trade some stuff over to Natalie. Florges. I actually ended up banning, what, the little flower dude? Not Floet, but, you know, Floet Jr. They, like, banned a Floet Jr. because of these abilities, being able to remove cards from your opponent's hand, which could be done on the first turn. Flo Baby, that's it, Floet Jr. Floet small version. You know, this Braviary is man-spreading. I don't know how I feel about that. On to the next one. <laughs> now these guys are cute. Look at that temple. Wow. The temple made out of yarn. I want to meet the people who makes these Pokemon out of yarn and just like hang out at their house. I want to see all the Pokemon that they created out of yarn. Venusaur and Snivy GX. That's our second one. Pretty dope. And our third great catcher. The bus bus. Now, if you guys do remember, you can type bus 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 into the chat for your chance to win one of these beautiful busted sticker packs. Bus bus bus. That's bus three times with no space. We got a regular Marshadow. We already got a reverse one. That's cool. Bus bus bus. And no matter where you live, you live international, national, Canada, South America, wherever, our fourth great catcher in your parents' house, in your roommate's house, in your own house, in your apartment, in your girlfriend's apartment, in your boyfriend's apartment, wherever you live, I'll send you a sticker pack. If you win, now subs to the channel do get three times luck in the sticker pack giveaways. Let's do one right now. We're about... I don't know. We're some amount of packs in. Yo, let's do one. We got the Rainbow Rare Sil Valley GX. Let's go. I need to get that Foghorn <laughs> button installed here onto my little stream deck. Because this would be a Foghorn moment. There we go. All right, we're drawing two winners for the busted sticker packs. Congrats to Karg. And also, It Shard. Karg and It Shard. You are the winners. Karg, K-H-H-A-R-G-G, -G, and It Shard. With uh, an underscore. All right. Karg and It Shard. There you go. You guys are the winners. Go ahead and message me. Uh, message me your deets. Okay, and I can get those uh, those sent out your way. All right, fantastic. And we're going to be starting another giveaway for a busted sticker pack here in just a second. Just got to archive these. We need to create a new giveaway. We need a new keyword. And it's going to be... The new keyword is busted. All right, chat. Finally, 
we arrive on the good old faithful busted keyword. You can type busted in the chat for your chance to win one of these beautiful busted stickers that we have right here. And these busted stickers are not just stickers to celebrate being busted. They're not just stickers that you can put on any item to make busted, right? If you want to have a busted laptop, all you have to do is take your laptop, put the busted sticker on it, now you have a busted laptop. If you want a busted skateboard, all you got to do is put the busted sticker on the skateboard, now you got a busted skateboard. If you want a busted binder, you put the busted sticker on a binder, now you got a busted binder, right? Fantastic. You see, you know, a busted street sign, you want to put a busted, you know, make it a busted street sign, there you go. You got a dog, you want to make it a busted dog, go ahead and put the busted sticker on the dog. Whole bunch of applications. But the busted stickers are also to celebrate Tricky Jim streaming on Twitch for a whole year. This is our year anniversary of streaming on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for making uh, this an incredible year. Look at this beautiful rainbow art. I, this is absolutely amazing. I love this. The reds, the blues, the greens, the yellows. Erica and Violet Plume. This is honestly one of my favorite artworks in the set. So, so beautiful. And yes, Gallade, if you would like to purchase the stickers, the stickers are available for purchase. You can find them on my Etsy store at Mahone Merch. The link is right there. Dropped it in the chat. It's just etsy.com slash shop slash Mahone Merch. And you can pick them up. They're just five bucks for the pair. Two stickers for five bucks. And uh, send them your way. That way you can uh, you know you can get as many as you want. You can spread them all over your stuff. And you can buy two, and then you could do a bus bus, and you could do a Ted Ted if you want to. They also make great uh, bumper stickers. Uh, they're not like they're not cheapos, okay? They're like really really nice stickers. Uh, they stick forever. They're like fade resistant. They look great on bumpers and things like that as well. Blizzy Memes with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Put bus on a bus and you can get a bus bus. Dude, that is, uh, that's true. Yo, if somebody puts a bus on a bus and creates a bus bus, take a pic and send it my way. That would be hilarious. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much, Blizzy Memes, for the 100 bits. Everybody who supports the channel. If you're looking for PTCGO codes, yo, we got one. Mega Low Bunny and Jigglypuff GX. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, we finally got there. Mega Low Punny and Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. We definitely needed that card to be able to play in standard format. Absolutely insane card. Hopefully you guys are pulling that card too. It's going to be pretty expensive on the ladder. Um, if I did uh, imagine so. If you guys are looking for codes for PTCGO, make sure to check out fullgripcodes.com. We got instant code delivery. The codes do not last long. I mean, we've got a few thousand up now, but they go quick, okay? They go quick, and then once they're out, uh, it takes us a little, little bit of time to get them back into stock. So definitely one of the most convenient places to get your codes at. They just get emailed to you directly as soon as you, as soon as you buy them. So no waiting around for somebody to email you. They'll just get sent out right away. At fullgripcodes.com. Sean and I spent a few weeks working on the website. Really proud of how it turned out. And at the very least, you can head on over to fullgripcodes.com and check out the nice photographs I took. Okay. Using that art degree. That's right, chat. Do you guys need to see do you need to see the art degree again? Just in case anybody had forgotten. I do have an art degree, okay, from Allegheny College. I use that art degree to design the banner on fullgripcodes.com as well as that nice picture of PTCGO on the laptop, okay? Art degree, yeah. <laughs> All right, fans of the art degree meme, there you go. Got an art degree. Rainbow Rare Blastoise and Pippa. Let's see, what did you do with your art degree? I uh, became a professional Pokemon player, that's what I did. <laughs> with my uh, uh, with my art degree, <laughs> the art degree meme, love it, dude. Should I just put a busted sticker on the art degree? I don't know. That's a really expensive piece of paper, dog. 
<laughs> oh man. No, but for real, the uh, I love my art education. I do. Education is very important. Uh, the art education helped me to, you know, become someone who, who thinks very open-mindedly and and also critically about the world and about, you know, my possibilities within the world and, uh, you know, and things like that. So it uh, definitely was very formative in me becoming who I was and very thankful for my education. And I do use it in a lot of ways, you know. Another one! Mega Low Punny and Jigglypuff. Sick! That's our second one. One for me, one for Natalie. Absolutely busted. Everybody's uh, favorite Easter-themed Pokemon card. Very good. Yeah, I don't know why apparently the full grip codes thing might not be working when when you do the command. If you just go to fullgripcodes.com, just on your browser or whatever. I don't know if it's the www that's throwing things off. I don't know. Some people's browsers might not like the site. But at the very least, go check it out. You see that beautiful photograph I took. Man, I'm really proud, proud of that photograph. But that's what I got my... Uh, that's what I got my education in, was uh, photography. So, I use photography all the time. And you guys see, like, my thumbnails, things like that. It's not as, you know, inspired as the art that I was creating when I was going to... Look at this photograph. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Cage. That was, that was well-timed. We got an Aganade Allen Guzzlord GX. Look at them. Wow. Look at Guzzlord. Guzzlord's an insane Pokemon. Look how menacing that Guzzlord looks on that card. With his evil-looking eyes. And then his evil-looking second pair of eyes. And then his evil-looking dark vortex of a black hole of a mouth. Absolutely insane. And then Naganadel, looking like Cyclops out here, with that single glowing band of an eye. A big stinger. All right. Cool card. Those are some scary boys. But yes, I did go. Uh, I did go to school for photography, so I do use those photo skills quite a bit. Like even just setting up a shot like that. This had to be lit appropriately, right? These are the kinds of things that I get to use <laughs> my art my art education for, right? Lighting sets, you know, using the camera, things like that. It's all useful knowledge to have. I also, um, a lot of these skills that I have are self-taught though. Like I went to school for art because I loved art and digital art. Like when I was a teenager, growing up, I used to, you know, film and make my own skateboarding videos one of these days i'm going to share my skateboarding movie with you guys i haven't done that yet but i made a skateboarding movie of like me and my friends when we were in high school it's hilarious it's really goofy if you have any interest in seeing me running around as like a 17 year old kid with like a skateboard and you know skinny jeans and just like you know jumping off things and doing crazy stuff on my skateboard. That, uh, that was a fun time. Hilarious time. And I have very fond memories of that. Yeah, it was like 30, that was like 30 years ago, wasn't it, Boomer? <laughs> no. Number three. All right, let's go, Mega Little Funny and Jigglypuff. Sick. The vid is not on YouTube right now. I gotta put it up onto YouTube, but one of my issues with putting it onto YouTube I guess is that I don't know if the audio will get stripped from it because it uh, it has songs in it. Like I edited the the parts to songs that are obviously like copyrighted. So I have to look into that and see if it will allow me to keep the songs in. I don't care about monetizing it. Obviously, like I would just put it up so that people can see it. And then also. Another big question is like, where do I upload this video? Probably to like a private YouTube account, right? Not to Tricky Jim. Like putting it on Tricky Jim, everybody would be like, Mahone, why did you put your skateboarding video from when you were like 16 up on Tricky Jim? It doesn't belong there. And I would be like, all right, touche. That's fair. We got 
a fantastic amount of great catchers. We're at number seven. Oh yeah. Oh, there's some great music in there for sure. I mean, the the video was made in like 2006, so it was a uh, it's a blast from the past for sure. And one of the coolest things about it, a personal Vimeo page. That's a good that's a good idea, Valero. I think I, I like that. That makes sense. And then I could share it with people that I want to share it with. I'll look into that. It's a good one for sure. One of the coolest things about it was that my uh, my local skate shop, uh, Skatology in Bel Air, Maryland, they hooked me up with like a, a whole like um, release party for the video, right? So they helped me produce the video, which was really cool. Like some of the skaters from the local skate team, like, put their footage into my video, which was amazing, right? Cause I'm like 17 and I like really looked up to these guys. So they helped me with some footage. Um, and then also they threw me a release party, you know, had pizza, it was like snowing, it was crazy. Uh, we jammed like, you know, 30 to 40 people in this tiny little skate shop. And we all watched the, the box hizzle video premiere. That was the name of my skateboarding video box hizzle right me and my friends i grew up in a little cul-de-sac called box hill full art rosa check her out that is a stunning full art card beautiful love it amazing artwork rosa you go queen that's what's up Search your deck for a pokemon a trainer card and a basic energy card reveal them put them into your hand you can only play it if one of your pokemon was knocked out during your last turn awesome 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 love it but yeah so skatology threw me a pre-release or not a pre-release a uh like an opening or a, not an opening a uh what a viewing party or whatever for the video and it was sick and then they also like helped me sell the video so we like sold the video out of skatology that was like really cool too and it was like an opportunity for me to kind of, you know, get into the world of video production and, you know, we were selling it too, which is like amazing. People were hyped on it. You know, a lot of locals were like buying the video. Naganadel and Guzzlord GX. That's amazing. Full art there. Really liked, uh, I really liked the alternative art for this. So hopefully we'll be finding the alternative art soon for the Naganadel and Guzzlord. But that was like a really neat experience for me and really I think sparked my love for video, video creation, using Photoshop and things like that. It's hilarious thinking about producing this video back then. For some perspective, like YouTube had just come out. Wow, Golden Martial Arts Dojo. Check that out, chat. That is gorgeous. And we even got the little manky over here. Look at that manky doing his little thing in the corner. That is a beautiful card, my goodness. The Golden Stadiums, absolutely nuts. And then, you know, when I was like going away to college or whatever, I wanted to continue being creative. I wanted to continue, you know, making video, doing photos. This is our first Oracorio GX. There you go. Or our first regular art one, at least. You go, Oracorio. And, you know, I decided that the best way for me to do that would be to do art and technology, just like kind of focus on photography. I could have taken a, you know, communications. I was pretty close to doing that um, at school, going for like a communications degree. But that was like almost too structured for me, right? I was like, I wanted to be more of like a free thinker and just do kind of whatever I wanted and not have anybody tell me that I had to do something a certain way or that way or this way. So like that's where things really like deviated for me and I was like, "Oh, I for sure want to do art with an emphasis on like digital media rather than do like a full-on communication arts degree where like they teach you about news broadcasting and filming professional movies and things like that." Yo, original Hari, right? Hari, Harl, Hari. I can't See with that. Is that an I? 
Original Harl. I'm calling you the original. All right, original got a mega low punny rainbow rare. That is the dream for sure. Mega low punny rainbow rare. The wheezing and the coughing are cool, right? They like do things when you discard them with the effect of Roxy, which is neat. Full art coughing looks amazing as well. Uh, the alternative art or whatever coughing that comes with the Roxy on the card. I mean, that's easily one of the coolest looking cards in the set. And let's uh, let's give away some busted stickers. You guys ready for a few more busted stickers? Let's get that up and going. You could type busted in the chat for your chance to win them. Number four, bless up. Let's go. I mean, I think we've pulled more Megalopunny and Jigglypuff than any other tag team GX, and she's the best one. So that rocks. I'm into it. And our first winner of the busted sticker is Clough. Flampton. Clough Flampton. Clough Flampton. That's it. Clough Flampton. All right, Clough Flampton. Congrats. I'm going to write your name down real quick. All right. And you can go ahead and just message me your details, and I can get those stickers sent out your way. We're going to draw one more, and the winner is Drag for Life. All right, Drag for Life, congrats. You are a winner of a busted sticker as well. Drag for Life 723. All right, we're going to be starting another giveaway here in just a moment. So if you have not won, no worries. You got another shot. All right, the keyword for the next busted sticker giveaway these beautiful busted stickers is Ted 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 you could type Ted 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 into the chat for your chance to win Ted 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 no space Ted 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 that'll do it thank you guys all so much for being here for supporting the shop supporting the channel been a busted day for sure i can't wait to put these cards into some decks and get cracking look at that flygon gx dusty defense as long as your pokemon this pokemon is your active pokemon all of your pokemon take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks dusty hurricane <laughs> it's desert hurricane stadium it does 240 it's pretty cool neato play with the new groudon Accelerate some energy onto your Flygons. That way, unfortunately, I don't think that Flygon is quite uh, powerful enough to make any waves in standard formats. I mean, just being a stage two, really tough out here being a stage two. This Magneton is really, really cool. I love this thing. You can set up surge plays with the Magneton. You get to just... Knock it out, get three supporter cards from your deck, put them into your hand. You could get Surge and then two other busted supporters. I really like that. I think that, you know, you could also play it with Hat Ladies. This thing pretty much just sets up the hat, the hat trick for you. If you were going to build a Hat Lady deck, I think the Magneton is probably the best way to do that. For sure. Yo, thank you guys all so much for being here for the stream today uh, as well. If you are not following the channel yet, make sure to drop Tricky Jim with the young follow here on Twitch. We're 15 followers away from hitting 7,000 followers. That's so close. It's insane. Only 15. 15 people. Wow. That'd be great. If we hit that goal today, that'd be busted. If not... There's always another day. But 7K followers, that'd be, I'd be pretty stoked on that. We're heading out to the Virginia Regional Championships this weekend as well. Going to be playing 
Expanda didn't go too hot for me last year. Um, I played Archies too much, I think. So I'm going to try and mix things up more this year and just be a little bit more open-minded about the decks that I play in Expanded. I did get like a top 128 and I think like a top 64 or top 128, like two, you know, non-day two finishes with points in Expanded format last year. One with Archies, one with Night March. I could have made day two with Night March, but I flew a little bit too close to the sun and, you know, got a little bit too greedy in it, and it backfired. I was at 6-2 and two at Toronto Regionals with Night March last year, and my opponent asked if I wanted to ID to guarantee ourselves a place in day two. And I told him, nah, bro, I'm trying to play. Let's go. I was like, I want to go into day two at 7-2. and two. Yikes. I lost. Got punished. Super, super punished. But then my opponent ended up going into day two, and my opponent, uh, they went into day two at seven and two, and they ended up making top eight. So my prediction was correct, that if I had won, I would have a much higher chance of being able to make top eight, which is what I wanted to do. I didn't want to go into day two at six, two, and one, and then finish somewhere like top 32, top 64. I wanted to like give myself the opportunity to make top eight. You know, I want so like I was like I'm playing, let's go. I was playing Night March. I played against this crazy like, literally this crazy Oracorio Articuno counter deck, where the whole point of the deck was to like use counter energy and take multiple prizes on like my little Night Marchers. That was that was disgusting. I mean. And the deck played, like, multiple Oracorio, multiple Rescue Stretcher. It was a bad time. I think I did take it to Game 3. It was close. There were some things that could have gone my way, but it just didn't work out. Jay's fan. The video will be up on YouTube probably this weekend. Like, I'll process it today. Probably go up over the weekend. Naganade Allen Guzzlord GX. There's another one. Really looking for like the bust the busted secret rares at this point. Like, I feel like we got all the cards we need to play. I think I got enough tag calls. I got enough, you know, Mega Low Punny and Jigglypuffs. We really just want some secret rares, like some secret rare stadium, secret rare power plants, wishy washy GX. Unfortunately, I don't think Wishy Washy GX is all that great. I would like to vlog the Virginia Regional Championships. I need to find my charge cord, so that's going to be like kind of the the limiting factor. If I can find the charger for my GoPro, we're vlogging it. If I cannot, then then we might be out of luck. But uh, I'm just going to have to dig around the studio a little bit and see what we can find. Actually, I think I got one. Did I get one break cert, or have I not opened a break cert yet? Nine great catchers, the bust. And we're giving away stickers today. And then also, they are for sale on my Etsy store, etsy.com slash shop slash Mahone merch, if you want to pick up some busted stickers. There's our first Volcarona GX. Check that out. Beautiful card. I actually really love the design of Volcarona. I think this card is beautiful. Uh, I think the Pokemon is just like really epic as well. As far as like bug Pokemon go, Volcarona is one of the coolest. For sure. And then it's got some awesome attacks and abilities as well. Flaming Shots, the two damage. Snipe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I've gotten any like... Uh, or too many Arceus, Diaga, and Palkia. I don't think I've even seen that card yet. That's what I feel like I haven't seen the creation trio yet. We've got a lot of Ursaring doing the Kamehameha wave. Or smelling his armpit. Let's see, how many Mallow and Lana do I have? Four. That's great. What is Mallow doing? Is she making soup? Is she about to sip from the ladle? 
Why is Mallow drinking soup? Any ideas? All right, chat. Why is Mallow drinking soup from a ladle? That doesn't really seem to make any sense to me. Is there something about the Mallow lore uh, that would make the ladle make sense? Nothing about the soup on the Pokemon card makes any sense to me. Is she into cooking? Is this like part of her character? Her family has a restaurant in the series. Thank you, No Sam. That's the that's the answer I was looking for. All right, Natalie says she made soup in Sun and Moon during the Island Challenge. Oh, that could be it. All right. So Natalie and No Sam, thank you guys for the response. Apparently, she is a soup cooker. All right, more Fionns. No secret errors. We are coming down on the final 100. Can we find one of those busted secret errors we're looking for? The alternative art. Just any alternative art for real. I would be pretty stoked on any of them for sure. We did get a full art Rosa. That was nice. I think like the full art trainers look phenomenal so that was like a sick rip for us if you're looking for codes yourself make sure to check out fullgripcodes.com for instant code delivery the busted instant code delivery insane i'm really stoked we were able to figure out how to do that it seemed like it was going to be very complicated to figure out but uh sean and i kind of put our heads together and we're able to figure it out Party people! Mad Scientist with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Mad Scientist, for supporting the channel. And hopefully you're enjoying your access to the Discord. And also all these busted emotes. And uh, digging being a part of the club. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who subbed today. The bits, the follows. Y'all are way too generous. More Swells. I think Swell honestly makes Guardi Sylveon one of the best decks, if not the best deck in standard format. I think that deck is going to be defining for sure. It makes the best use of Tag Call as an item card and can go get you your Guardi Sylveons. It can go get you Tag Team Supporters, Mallow and Lana. Also absolutely insane in that deck Valero with another gifted sub thank you so much Valero RBA 7th sub gifted and welcome Confuse Ray 005 to the channel welcome to the club Guardy loves the swell yo back to back Mimikyu's my only wish is that this full art Mimikyu which has an absolutely beautiful artwork was the ability Mimikyu. I think everybody probably wishes that, right? Because the ability Mimikyu is just an astoundingly good card. This Pikachu is super cute. I pulled one of those in real life. But yes, the ability Marshadow is going to make it so that, you know, people need to play more stealthy hoods, especially Mewtwo decks in order to play around that Mimikyu. And then the Swell. The Swell is so good because it stops, you know, it stops your opponent from playing the stadium you don't want to see. So if you're playing Malamar and you don't want to see a Lysander Labs, you put a Swell down, the Swell can counter the Lysander Labs. And if your opponent is not playing Resetting Whole Marshadow, they literally, like, it basically says you can't play your stadiums this game. Which is insane because if you're a peek around player and you just have two labs in the deck and you just go to slap a lab down on the swell, I mean, that's just like one of your labs is gone and then the Guardi Sylveon puts down another swell and it's just like game over for your stadiums. So that's just such a good effect. Guardi Sylveon and Malamar can both use the Chaotic Swell to prevent Lysander labs from coming into play. Mewtwo and Mew decks can play swell if they want to to prevent 
Um, power plants from coming into play. We got Guzma and Hala. Had a lot of people in the chat saying Guzma and Hala is the bust. Allows you to search your deck for a stadium card, put it into your hand, and then you can also discard two cards and search for a Pokemon tool and a special energy card. Put those into your hand as well. Tell me, chat, in which ways were we thinking about using Guzma and Hala? I want to hear all the crazy new ways to play Guzma and Hala. We finally got a Charizard and Breaks in GX. Wow, that's our first one, about 200 packs deep. We got a Charizard and Breaks in, everybody. Hey. 100 packs to go. And then we're going to be building decks. And we're going to be playing games with the new cards. And our brand new standard standard format. What decks do you guys want to see me build with all these new cards? What decks are we trying to see in standard format? With the new cards from Cosmic Eclipse. Got some Guardi Sylveon. We got some Dark Box. Gallade. Is Gallade a deck? Mally. Guznag. Lucario. What's a Lucario deck? Yeah, Marshadow. I also, if I want to have any hopes of building a Reshiram deck, I need like two more Reshiram's. Yo, when it rains, it pours. Let's go. Second, Charizard and Brakeson. Sick. Just another reminder if you are hanging out and looking to try and win one of these beautiful Busta stickers, you can type Ted, Ted, Ted into the chat. For your chance to win. Ted, Ted, Ted. Ted three times. No spaces. And we will draw the winners of that giveaway once we're done opening all these packs. It's another Flygon GX. Really wish you looked a little bit more like Reshiram and Zekrom so that I could build that deck. I'm sure people are going to want to see that. There's another Vileplume GX. This thing is awesome. Love it. Such a beautiful card. And the ability is good. Fragrant Flower Garden. Once during your turn, you can heal 30 damage from each of your Pokemon. The attack is good, too. 180 minus for two. Does less damage for the amount of damage counters on it, but if it's got no damage on it, you're dealing 180 for two. Which is just so good. I've seen a lot of this, dude. That reminds me of Oscar the Grouch. What you doing digging through that trash can, a little muck? Can't be up to anything good. Go Lurk. Criminally underrated Pokemon. Go Lurk is cool. Especially, it's Halloween. This is Go Lurk's time. I feel like he is definitely a Halloween oriented Pokemon. Alolan Persian Sil Valley. What is that a deck? Ooh, we got the Flannery Torkoal combo, dude. Flannery, she is cool, man. She's just doing her own thing. That is awesome. Gotta love Flannery. Very, very cool gym trainer. Yo, I have just got all the great catchers. Anybody need great catchers? I got them, bro. Any of the mods, any of the homies need some great catchers. I can hook the mods up with uh, <laughs> with some great catchers. Except you, Zeely. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. Uh, we got Empoleon, Steelix, Pat Sauce. I'll take four. <laughs> Seismitoad. Natalie does not like the Seismitoad. I think he's cute. Look at him. Aww. Natalie is uh, yeah, not the biggest fan. 
Yo, check that out. It's a beautiful Rainbow Rare. I do dig it. Okay. Rainbow Rare Oracorio. 80 packs to get two Reshiroms. Willieza, the pulls are doing good. We just need a couple more Reshiroms and we'll be Gucci. But if we get through 323 packs and only pull one Reshiram, it's going to be a sad day. For sure. I'm having, I got some faith, though. I'm, I'm feeling good about it. I think, like, for sure, we got two more easy clap. Might even happen in, the, like, the last 20 packs. You never know. Could just turn everything around. I do also need to get a code for the new... Dosnor and Trevenant Tag Team GX. I still haven't done that yet. Which is uh, on my list of to-dos. Because that card seems kind of good. I mean, the ability to just, what? It bops like two cards from your opponent's hand? That's strong. I mean, you could do some sort of uh, hand removal there at the end of the game. Which is neat. Got another Guzzlord. Sick. Another Blastoise. Okay. Ooh, we did get another Creation Trio. We got two of those now. Yo, these guys are some goofy looking dudes, alright? As much as, like... Yeah, these are supposed to be some epic dragons that control space, time, and creation itself. This might be a hot take, but I think these guys are goofy looking. All right. Press 1 if you think that these guys are, you know, <laughs> it look like me and the boys about to uh, play a game of Pokemon. Press 1 if you think they're goofy looking. Press 2 if you think they look like epic dragons. 1 if you think they're goofy. 2 if they look like epic dragons and you love them. All right. I don't think they look like epic dragons, y'all. I'm I'm not with it. Listen, I love Pokemon. Pearl was like a very meaningful game for me, Pearl version. Because it was like my return to Pokemon. I skipped Gen 3 because I was like in high school and doing other things. But me coming back to Pokemon was with Pearl version. I went away to college. I didn't care what anybody had to say about me. And I was like, I'm going to do my own thing. I want to play some Pokemon. Let's go. Got a DS Lite. That's what I'm saying, Willie Franklin. They kind of look like some... Hey, hey, hey. Tag call seeker rare. Check that out. I'll take it. Okay. It's lit. Like, why are they sitting there with their mouths open? Just like, <sighs> being some mouth breather dragons. Okay, almost there. We got the full art Megalopunny and Jigglypuff. We just want the alternative art. Close, close, close. I think the Reshiram deck will be very fun to build on the ladder this erica is cool it's like it's not good right but i do like that it's a throwback to the erica from the gym series i actually have a bunch of copies of that erica in my pokemon cube which is cool i mean because when that's an item card right which basically back in the wizards of the coast days there were no supporter cards yet the early Wizards of the Coast days. Supporters had not been invented, so all trainer cards could be played as much as you want during your turn. Unless it said otherwise, like Professor Elm. And Erica is just draw three, and then your opponent may draw up to three, right? Which is insane. I mean, that card would see play in our current standard format, if it was legal. As an item card, you better believe it. That card would be played in almost everything. And then everybody would be having huge, huge hands. But then, like, you would probably play it with, like, red card, right? 
So you would like Erica's, 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 and then everybody would have a huge hand, and then you'd like judge a red card. Or something like that. Rainbow Rare Volcarona GX. We have gotten a ton of Rainbow Rares. Some really sick ones. This one is awesome. I mean, check that out. Beautiful, beautiful card. But, yes, I think that Erica, you know, as an as like an item card, essentially, very strong. Erica as a supporter is not good, unfortunately. Draw three, not strong enough. You know, we got Coach Trainer draws more. I think Roller Skater draws more. A bunch of different supporter cards just draw. And then don't have the drawback of your opponent drawing three. I got an interesting question. At what point would Erica be a playable card? If at all, okay? If Erica read, draw six cards, your opponent may draw six cards. Would that be playable as a supporter card? What if Erica said, draw five cards, your opponent may draw five cards. At what point does Erica become a playable card? At three, it's clearly not playable. I don't think it's good at all. I think at four, it's not good, right? People are saying you can play it in Gengar and Mimikyu. Okay. I think five or more, it's playable, right? Four is unplayable. If it forced your opponent to draw, I think that the Erica always reads you may draw up to four. Right. And then it's like you, and then your opponent may draw up to four. So I think we're saying at five, is it playable? At six, it's broken, I think. Right? Like you may draw up to six cards, your opponent may draw up to six cards. That would be insane. Right? But at five, it's like, I don't know, it's still good, but like, is it that good? You could play it with Reset Stamp. Yeah, six, I think that supporter would be absolutely wild if it was six. I would embrace it, though. I welcome it. Yo, print that supporter card. You draw six, opponent draw six. Let's just yeah, toss it in the pool and see what happens. That would be busted. Instead, we got Erica. Erica, unfortunately, she don't do it. Doesn't draw enough. 36 packs left. Can we rip two Reshiroms? That I need. In order to build the Reshirom deck. Another Oracorio. Come on. <laughs> Before that card got released, it would get banned in all formats. I think this is our first Piplup um, trainer art. So that's cool. Yeah. They can choose not to draw. Erica reads you may draw. You don't have to. Our fifth Megalopony. Yo, I'm going to hop into the trades and see if anybody will trade like... A Rainbow Rare Flygon! Boy, I thought for a second that was a Rainbow Rare Reshi's art or a Reshi Rom. I was getting real stoked. I would really like to pull a full art tag team supporter as well. Those are like really neat. Fortunately, I was able to get all of the tag team supporters I need to build decks. We got five Flannery too. And, the, and these last 75 packs. Flannery out here rocking. I'm still, what? We got basically a little bit less than a booster box left. Anything is... Hey, chat, we did it. This is one of the ones I wanted. Full art Cynthia and Caitlin. Beautiful artwork. Amazing card. This card will be good forever. In just about, uh, you know, any deck that wants to pull supporters back. I mean, we saw that uh, 
Lusamine is banned in expanded format. Cynthia and Caitlin will get played in decks that want to play Lusamine, but Lusamine's banned. So now they'll play Cynthia and Caitlin, which just gets one supporter back in the discard pile. I think that's really cool. I love it. And it gets to draw three cards. Busted. Absolutely busted. And I think it's just an instant play in Mega Guardi, or not Mega Guardi, uh, Guardian Sylveon tag team decks. Guardian Sylveon tag team works really well with tag call and then Cynthia and Caitlyn because you can tag call for your Cynthia and Caitlyn. Draw more cards. Yo, we got the Gallade too. We actually didn't have this guy. That's neat. With Wally. I guess to be Psychic and Fighting type. Power Cyclone. Movement Energy attached to this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. Cool. Unfortunately, DCE, not in standard format. And then, yes, the Erica may draw up to three cards, right? So you can't force your opponent to deck out with Erica. Because your opponent will just be like, ah, I ain't drawing. Now there is a supporter card in the set that does forcibly mill your opponent. The Bell Elba and Bryson Man. Aura Dash is telling me just welder to the Gallade. Yikes. I don't know if I believe that much in the power of stage two decks uh, to set up. Will also a hilarious supporter in this set. Flip uh, The next time you flip any number of coins for the effect of an attack ability or trainer this turn, you could choose the effects of those flips. Which is neat. We haven't really had an effect like that. I mean, there is Flip Teeny. Infamously lets you reflip, you know, attack flips. But I don't know that there's ever been something that lets you reflip. Yo, why is this dude so ugly? I'm sorry, chat. Alolan Persian. I mean, Persian is like a very epic and elegant looking Pokemon. Persian, Alolan Persian. I don't know. I don't know what they did to Alolan Persian. They were like, yo, let's take a Persian and just make it look totally gross. Let's go. We got the Seeker Rare Power Plants. Oh, look at that cute little Voltorb there as well. I love the little Easter egg Pokemon in these full art stadiums. The Power Plant with the Voltorb. And then we saw the Fighting Dojo with the Mankey running around absolutely busted look at stadium that is gorgeous now i think that this is true right i'm pretty sure if you have gold secret rare power plants and you have them right now in real life you can play them now don't take me you know don't take my word for this but i'm pretty sure you can play those at the Richmond, Virginia Regional Championships this weekend, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right, right? If you have power plants, you can play them right now. You can play them at the Regional Championships. You can play them at Cups. You can play them at Challenges. Yeah, the new ones. Yep, yep, yep. So that'd be sick. If you got the gold power plants, you could bust them out this weekend at the Regional Championships, show them off on stream. Original Harl, we weren't playing. It is instant delivery. Thank you so much for supporting the store there, fullgripcodes.com, by uh, hooking us up with the old purchase. Appreciate it. Yes, they do go out literally instantly. I ain't playing. There's nobody sitting there waiting. It's an, automatic, an automated system, uh, which is awesome. All right, we're at the bottom of our pulls now. Y'all, five packs remaining. We need two Reshiroms in our bottom five packs. And we got another <laughs> Mega Lopetti and Jigglypuff. I have like seven or eight of those. I think I think literally eight Mega Lopunny and Jigglypuff. Eight. Eight of them girls. What happens when you attach two amulets to a Genesect GX? That's a good question, Koza. I don't know. That's for sure. 
And another Flygon GX. No, right at the finish line. More Flygons. Come on. Now we need to need to hit the old trading post. Let's see what we can do. I thought 300 packs would be enough. But alas, it was not. All right, that's it. 323 packs of Cosmic Eclipse. We got some insane pulls, some really beautiful cards, and a lot of playable stuff. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash trickygym. Also, fullgripcodes.com to get your PTCGO codes instantly delivered, and fullgripgames.com for all of the best Cosmic Eclipse singles. Thank you all for watching.